Today I am going to talk about Oracle SQL Developer. Predefined reports. Okay. The reports pane is visible by default, usually below the connections pane. But if you closed it or it is not visible for any reason, just go to the view menu and click on reports. Here we have a lot of predefined reports. In the last folder we will have the user defined reports which are the ones we will learn to build in the next lesson, depending on your specific job. You may find that many of these predefined reports will not be useful to you, but I will show you some of the data dictionary reports because some of them are quite interesting, and also because we need to look at some reports to explain the basics. For example, let's open the data dictionary reports folder in here the all objects folder, and let's take a look at the invalid objects report. As you see, when I click on it it asks me for the connection that must be used, even though I have a connection already open. So, reports are connection independent and you can have a worksheet open with some connection and run your reports using another connection. Okay, I will select this one. And here is another interesting thing, you can parameterize your reports by means of bind values. This means that you don't need to define the report to check for fixed values in the conditions. You can use bind variables to let the user, or yourself, provide the value they want to use. So that they can run the report using different values, and thus, get different results according to their needs. In this case, for example, the report has a condition for the owner of the objects. If I enter some text here, it will restrict the reports to objects in which the owner is the value I entered. And in this case, if I leave it as null, the report is designed to include objects from all users, or in other words, it doesn't take the owner condition into account. Okay, I will leave it with null. Let's quickly take a look at this toolbar. This push pin is there because by default, every time you run a report, it will be displayed in the same results tab. So, if you want to run a different report but don't want to lose the previous one, you have to pin it. Next, the play button causes the report to run again, usually because you want to refresh the results. Then, this icon, which I'm not sure what it is but says SQL, allows you to copy the report's query to a worksheet. This can be very useful if you want to understand from where or how the report is getting its data. In this case, for example, I can confirm, by looking at the query, that if I leave the owner as null, the report will basically ignore this condition, because it will always be true. We can also see that the way in which bind variables are defined in a report is exactly the same as we would define them in SQL Plus or the SQL Developer Worksheet. And finally, there is an automatic refresh option, which allows you to define how frequently you want the report to refresh its results. These values are seconds, so, if I select 5 here, the report will refresh automatically every 5 seconds, until I close it or I set this value back to 0. Now, let's quickly look at another report. Let's run this. Object distribution. Quote dot. As you can see, the data here is presented in a very different way. It even displays some values as tooltips when I hover the mouse over this 3D bars, which is kind of cool. And there are a lot of other reports. For example, if you're a DBA, or maybe even if you have your own database just for learning purposes, this database administrator folder has many reports you will probably find very interesting and useful. Another interesting example is the reports in the Table Quality Assurance folder. Here we have a report that shows a list of tables without primary keys, for example. We could get all of this information from the data dictionary views, but it would require us to know which views to query, and how. And we would have to keep our scripts safe somewhere, to avoid having to write the same query every time, but a report makes it so much easier. So, take some time to explore the predefined reports at least once. You might find something you like. And when you are ready, let's move to the next lesson, where we will start talking about the user-defined report.